Hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland and this video is about Mechanopsis as requested by John O'Brien. Now I wish I had an extensive Mechanopsis collection to show you but in truth I don't and the one that's looking the nicest at the moment is this blue one which has shown up well I think because of the raindrops on it. Unfortunately I don't have a species name for this it was given to me it was supposed to be white and as you can see it certainly is not but it's a lovely one and this one seeds readily into the hardy orchid bed in front of it. So contrary to what people say about Machinopsis needing shady moist conditions Certainly for the seedlings, this one likes to seed in the grit, so in very dry conditions. If we look here in close, you can see a Mechanopsis seedling in here among the Roscoa. And that's one that I'll move out a little bit later on, as I did last year. This particular Mechanopsis starts flowering at the top. And those two heads, seed heads sticking up there, are where it's flowered already. Now it's flowering here. And if we look down below, we can see some buds that have yet to open. But um, yeah, it does particularly well. Of course, Mechanopsis tend to like acid soil, and I have plenty of acid soil here, so they suit my environment very well. Another Mechanopsis looking particularly well at the moment, if slightly bedraggled by the rain, is this Nepalensis one over here. And as John so rightly pointed out to me, the true Mechanopsis nepalensis is actually yellow. So um, I guess that's what I have here. But this is a monocarpic one that flowers and once it flowers, then the plant dies and you need to be quick to collect the seed because it's not one that's going to seed about. I think they look quite interesting, even though they're quite bedraggled. And the thing about this particular type of uh, Mechanopsis is that the foliage is really good. If we look down here, you can see that it's got soft, felty foliage that looks super long before the plant ever deigns to flower. Well, here we are back again at that blue Mechanopsis because after the rain with the sun behind it, it really does look pretty. And um, I'll tell you what, let's go and see what I did with the Mechanopsis seedling this one produced last year, the ones that seeded into the hardy orchid bed and that I potted off and moved on. So we have to go over to this part of the garden beside the stone table where I've done so many unboxing videos and we have to look here into this border here and at the very back of this border there was a large fuchsia, one of these fuchsias that is very hardy which I didn't like anymore so we took it out and that created a space and I'm going to have to climb in there now to show you where those Mechanopsis are. Let's try and do it without doing well with doing the least amount of damage possible. Oh gosh I'm getting caught up here in the day lily and here yay oh look the slugs didn't get them it's always good when the slugs don't get something. Okay, so I got fed up keeping these little Mechanopsis in the tray and I reckon they do well in the ground. Now, although they'd been raised on uh, pure grit, total drainage, when I potted them out, I put them in here with lots of mulch around them and they seem to be doing well. And uh, my goodness, can you see that in the middle there? That's a snail. I just lifted up the shell and actually the snail is gone, whatever happened to it. I did put slug pellets down here when I first put them out and um, hopefully now they're big enough that the slugs won't be able to get at them. You know, when they're small, they're really slug food like these two here. But once they get to a larger size like these ones here, then hopefully they're past the danger point. And who knows, maybe these ones will flower for me next year. So I've managed to climb out again without doing too much breakage and hopefully we can come back next year and see some blue Mechanopsis peeping up there at the back of the border above the flocks.
Okay, well that was my short and brief Mechanopsis video because, you know, <laughs> when you've got something to show, show it and if you don't, don't go on about it too much. I've just spotted another Mechanopsis seedling down here at my feet past the Epipactus. There's another one down there. So I think I stand a really good chance of introducing Mechanopsis more extensively in my garden and having it, well, spread about. Okay, that's all for now. Hope this video was to your liking and to John's as well. Thanks very much for watching and please check, check back again for lots more gardening -y stuff. Bye now. Bye.